I'm back on the road, but have a couple interesting topics to talk about today. Why Ripple's case may bode well for other crypto companies that are currently battling the SEC. And then we have an XRP futures listing that could pave the way for future ETFs. We'll dive into that in more detail. But if we haven't met before, my name's Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. Now on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed of all the latest news and updates. Let's take a look at this latest piece from Bloomberg on why Ripple's case may bode well for other crypto companies battling in the SEC. This just came out earlier today, and as always, I'll link it in the video description. So what are some of the ripple effects of the case that's been going on for over three and a half years and just reached its conclusion with the SEC receiving a hefty settlement, or a hefty penalty rather, and will we see a possibility of an appeal. So let's dive into it. One of the most watched legal cases in crypto reached a major milestone just last week when a federal judge ordered Ripple to pay a $125 million civil penalty for selling XRP to institutional investors without registering it with the SEC. The penalty was a mere fraction of the $2 billion the SEC had sought, and that could be good news for other, other crypto companies that are battling the SEC. The Ripple case started in the heart of the pandemic in December 2020 when the SEC sued Ripple and its top executives, co-founder Chris Larson and CEO Brad Garlinghouse, saying they created an information vacuum that allowed them to sell more than $1 billion worth of XRP into a market that only had information they chose to share about the crypto. The lawsuit rallied the greater crypto industry around XRP, more than a dozen advocacy groups, including the Chamber of Digital Commerce and the Blockchain Association, wrote to U.S. District uh, Judge Annalisa Torres in support of Ripple's position. We, of course, know John Deaton representing XRP holders as well as Amicus. Since then, the SEC launched enforcement actions against a number of crypto firms, including Terraform Labs, Binance, and Coinbase, but the Ripple case was viewed as a potential landmark that could set precedent regarding whether cryptos are securities that require the issuers to register the tokens with the SEC and make specific disclosures to investors. So the SEC, as you recall, contended XRP was a security under the so-called Howey test, named after a 1946 Supreme Court ruling. Under Howey, a security exists if there's an investment of money in a common enterprise with a reasonable expectation of profits to be derived from the efforts of others. Four points. The SEC often overlooking one of those. Ripple contended that XRP did not meet that test because sales took place in the secondary market and there were no pooling of profits. In July of 2023, last year, Judge Torres found XRP was a security when sold to institutional investors in the way it was packaged, not the asset itself, but not to the general public, noting that there was no evidence that retail buyers expected to share in Ripple's profits and that many purchases were made through blind transactions via trading algorithms on exchanges. The decision was widely viewed by the industry as a victory and a check on the SEC's authority, although the regulator touted it as a validation of its approach and a confirmation that the securities laws can apply to cryptos. The SEC, in this case, asked Judge Torres to order Ripple to pay more than $876 million in disgorgement, more than $198 million in prejudgment interest, along with $876 million as a matching penalty to that disgorgement, saying the company has increased the sales of the crypto since it was sued by the regulator, hasn't accepted responsibility, and intended to evade the law. The judge issued an injunction. Remember, that was a pretty light-touch injunction, though, basically saying don't break the law again. Uh, barring Ripple from committing further violations of securities laws, but she denied the FCC's bid for Ripple to disgorge profits from its sales, saying the case does not involve allegations of fraud, misappropriation, or other more culpable conduct, and that the SEC hadn't shown that Ripple's failure to register the sales with the agency caused investors substantial losses. Ripple's general counsel, Stu Alderati, said in a phone interview just last week that the company respects the ruling and can pay the penalty off our balance sheet with cash, adding we're glad to have this finally behind us. Still, the battle is not quite over yet, as the SEC 
could challenge the judge's decisions on appeal, but the outcome could already be helping to shape the future of crypto legal cases. Bloomberg intelligence analyst Elliot Stein said Judge Torres' latest decision bodes well for Coinbase in particular in its battle against the agency and could boost its odds of a favorable decision in that case. And we'll certainly keep our ears to the ground for what may be happening in the SEC versus Coinbase. Now, the one piece of news that I think is really interesting that's uh, fairly new, you may not have seen it, uh, today was the first time I had actually uh, noticed that it was out there and so I thought I'd bring it to your attention here. Uh, this XRP futures listing, uh, this is uh, new because uh, this was uh, kind of a development that was waiting on what would happen in the SEC versus REPL case. I don't think anyone was really going to be comfortable moving forward until there was some kind of answer there. And now we have a major exchange looking to launch XRP futures contracts, uh, boosting liquidity and accessibility. They're to be physically settled and margin-based, reflecting a 100,000 XRP value. And of course, this is helping fuel speculation about a potential XRP ETF launch amid some enhanced regulatory clarity around XRP and the potential for this listing. So again, XRP is in the spotlight as a major exchange plans to launch its crypto futures contracts, marking a significant development for Ripple's native coin to the XRP ledger. Now they often in pieces like this tie XRP directly to Ripple. Uh, but remember, Ripple and XRP are not the same thing. Ripple's a company, XRP is an asset. The exchange recently notified the CFTC about its intention to list USD futures for the crypto with expected trading to commence uh, this week. This move fueled speculation about a potential ETF launch for the crypto as regulatory clarity around it continues to solidify. So Bitnomial Exchange, a designated contract market, did inform the CFTC of its plans to introduce XRP USD futures contracts, known as XUS. These contracts will be physically settled and margin-based, as I said earlier, reflecting 100,000 XRP, at least here to start. Their self-certification with the CFTC signifies it has independently reviewed and ensured that the new contracts comply with all relevant regulations and standards. Besides, it ensures allowing them to list without prior CFTC approval. Meanwhile, this development seen as a critical step and crucial in increasing XRP's accessibility and liquidity in markets by offering futures contracts, but Nomial is providing traders with a new avenue to speculate on the crypto's price movements, which could attract more institutional interest. Additionally, futures contracts also highlight the growing confidence in XRP's market potential, particularly after the conclusion of the SEC versus Ripple case. The announcement of the futures listing has reignited discussion around the possibility of an XRP ETF. The legal clarity surrounding the crypto's status as a non-security has led many market observers to speculate an ETF could be on the horizon. For context around this, Nate Garachi, president of ETF Store, recently took to social media to express his anticipation, asking when the ETF will be launched. His comments reflect the optimism shared by many in the community. Meanwhile, the conclusion of the legal case has been a pivotal moment for XRP. The court ruled that Ripple's sales of XRP to retail investors or exchanges did not violate federal securities laws, paving the way for further acceptance and certainly uh, for the opportunity for other uh, things like Ripple's own uh, IPO, uh, things like XRP ETFs and other developments, as well as the uh, opportunity for Ripple to use its products here in the U.S. with the additional clarity provided here. The ruling boosted confidence in the potential spot ETF launch, which could open up new investment opportunities and further legitimize the crypto in the eyes of institutional investors. So what do you think? Will we see this XRP ETF anytime soon, or is this uh, futures contract uh, initiation just kind of going to be the end of it. I certainly think there's opportunities down the road here, but it may be a longer haul before we get to an actual ETF. Uh, it certainly seems like Solana had a little bit more traction to get there first now that we've already seen Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you found the information here to be helpful. If you did, make sure you drop a like. It helps the channel a ton and helps me keep you informed. Hit that subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on all the latest news. Thank you 
so much for spending this time with me. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.